15-year-old freshman Caleb Wren had a tough first day at Reedsville Senior High School this week. At lunch, I had sat alone, and I was actually getting called, like, short and stuff. So he told his big sister, who shared their text exchange on Twitter, including where Caleb says they think I'm a loser because I'm short. I can get you a thousand followers. That's all football and basketball player DeMontez Canada, his friend Tyvon Smoot, as well as other upperclassmen at the school had to see. We decided to catch him off guard at lunch and have lunch with him and show him around the school and make sure that he was okay and get him new friends. Caleb said he was surprised to get to lunch on Tuesday to see that he had a new group of friends waiting for him. They all got to know each other, had a great time, and now they're all buddies. That was sour. It felt really nice to know that there were people who care. I've always been kind of used to being the loner, the outsider, the little outcast, but it feels good to have friends. That is a big brain question. Caleb's new friends say they feel blessed to be able to make such a difference. The message that I want to send is that you should always be humble and no matter what the situation is, no matter what anybody is going through, you should always make sure they're okay. I was raised to help people. Like, my mama didn't raise me to not do nothing. So when I see stuff like that, then I, I need to help because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. And it happens to me before when I was, when I first moved to North Carolina. Yeah, I didn't have no friends. I used to sit by myself, so I know how he feels. Administrators, teachers, and coaches at the school say they're proud of everyone who stepped in to be Caleb's new friend. I ask my players to be leaders, not only on the court, but in the classroom, in the hallway, in the cafeteria. Set the example. That's the way we should be in society. That may be greater than any lesson they get in any classroom whatsoever. Caleb says he doesn't want a lot of attention from all of this, but he wants anybody seeing this story out there to consider doing something similar for someone in their lives. Well, the photo you see here captures a moment of remarkable kindness that is drawing praise from around the world, and rightfully so. Mark Strassman went to Tallahassee to find out how a college football star and a young student found each other in a school cafeteria. He just sat down with me. Bo Paskey was sitting alone in Monfort Middle School's cafeteria on Tuesday. It was right there. You looked up, and there he was? Yeah. And what did he say? He said, what's up, dude? Rudolph to the 10 with a guy to beat. He was Travis Rudolph, a star wide receiver with a Florida State football team. Five players were visiting the school as part of a community service program. And what did you guys talk about? He asked me, am I, I going to play in the NBA? And I said yes. <laughs> okay. And what did you ask him? I asked him, are you in the NFL? And he said no. One little thing can change. Rudolph told us he noticed a young kid sitting off by himself and headed his way. Once I got those two slices of pizza, I just see him by himself, and I was like, hey, this is like a spotlight, I guess. It's just something clicked in my head. Just let me go ask him if I can sit with him and eat lunch with him. Someone snapped a photo of Bo and his new friend having lunch with no one else sitting close and sent it to the sixth grader's mother. Bo. Right Bo is autistic, and many days, no one sits with him at lunch. The thought of him eating alone gets to you. Yes, absolutely. Leah Paskey will always remember the college football player's kindness to her son. He could have sat with anybody. Could have sat with anybody. And yet he picked. He picked Bo. Bo. Yeah. Who was sitting by himself. Yes. So I'm just um, moved with emotion at his generosity and his kindness. I don't. I, again, I haven't spoken to him. I don't know what made him pick Bo, but I'm so grateful he did. I'm so grateful he did. That was so kind. She thanked Rudolph in a Facebook post. This is one day I didn't have to worry if my sweet boy ate lunch alone because he sat across from someone who was a hero in many eyes. That post has been shared thousands of times since. I definitely just hope, you know, that kids just welcome him, him in because I mean, he's a genuine person and he can always be around me anytime if I was his friend. When Bo walked into lunch on Wednesday, every kid wanted to sit with him. I'm a superstar. Everybody recognizes me. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Tallahassee, Florida. Oh, yes, brother. You are a, the man. I was a oh. mess yesterday. Oh, oh a mess. Great story. him and he grabbed his hand and walked him to the front door and he waited until the bell rang and he walked him inside of the school 
and the rest was history. They have an inseparable bond. I fear every day that someone's going to laugh at him because he doesn't speak correctly or laugh at him because he doesn't sit still or because he, you know, jumps up and down and flaps his hands. I was in fourth day at school and I started crying and then he held me and I was happy. It doesn't matter, you know, color, it doesn't matter gender, it doesn't matter disability, it doesn't matter anything. Just be kind, open your heart, and that's what we need in this world. I One act it. of kindness, you know, can change, change someone's life. It can change the world, that's all it takes.